Yeah, I guess um, when I look at all of the openness that's there in somebody's design, I, it, it's clear to me that the undefined ego is what really creates um, the deepest dilemmas in humanity as a whole. I think it varies individually from person to person, the impact that that has. I mean, after all, openness for us is something that is both deeply attractive, magical, romantic, uh, obsessive, all of those things, and at the same time, it's pure conditioning. Um, there's always the potential in any openness that, that through awareness it becomes something that um, provides you with a great deal of wisdom. Obviously, somebody with an undefined heart center is really here to, to understand what needs to be proved and what needs to be disproved. It, it knows what's worthy. It's here to know what's worthy. And when, yet when you look at the dilemma of the, of the undefined heart center in, in the world as a whole, it, it is one of the things that grips the, the not-self mind so profoundly and so deeply. Because what it says to the being, it says something that they've been conditioned to from the moment they came into the world. It says you're not worthy. You're not a good enough person. And uh, all those beings walking around with undefined heart centers are always dealing with this issue. Uh, you know, am I really a, 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 an adequate being? Am I a good person? And always trying to prove it. And of course, it's this proving it that leads into the, the great addiction of the not self, which is to be addicted to what you're not. You know, um, proving yourself worthy means doing things that you don't want to do, doing them for people you don't want to do them for, and doing them only because you have this incredible pressure on you out of that open heart center, that pressure that the not self delivers to the mind, that pressure that says we have to say yes, because if we don't say yes, they're not going to think that we're good people or that we're decent or that we're you know, that we care or all of the things that are going to impact one's sense of worthiness. This whole question of worthiness is something that is a plague on the planet and it leads to the depth of the not-self and this endless search that people have for a variation of themselves that they think that they can find out there and they're not. You know, one of the first things that I tell somebody that has an undefined heart center is you have nothing to prove in this life, and you don't. You know, it's an essential thing to understand if you have an undefined heart center. You have nothing, nothing to prove in this life, nothing. You know, it is about living your life as yourself. It's not about getting caught in the traps that that center brings. And we have a world that's gone mad with trying to prove itself and trying to prove itself worthy. All these human beings doing things that are not for them to do, that are not correct for them to do. You know, human design brings strategy and authority, brings you a way to navigate on this plane that has nothing to do with the way in which your mind operates under all of that pressure. To have an undefined heart center, I think this is really a challenge and I think that you know, it's only through grasping the mechanics that truly you're going to be able to liberate yourself from that kind of pain. Mm -hmm.